Dierking, there's new information tonight in the ongoing issues with the Boone County Prosecutor's Office. Last year, a judge overturned the murder conviction of David Dooley after a law clerk in Prosecutor Linda Talley Smith's office found a trove of questionable material on an office computer. Some of that material came to light during court hearings that led to Dooley's new murder trial, but most of it remained secret. Two days ago, some new material was shared with Local 12's Joe Webb. It is simply referred to as the thumb drive. The 13 gigabytes of information former law clerk Nick Ramler copied from a computer in the Boone County Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. Some material on it that raised questions about evidence sharing in the Dooley trial and the veracity of witnesses got David Dooley a hearing on a new trial. During that hearing, some of the thumb drive's content text messages from Smith to lead detective Bruce McVeigh, details of their love affair came to light. David Dooley was granted a new trial. Linda Talley Smith and her husband, Boone District Judge Jeff Smith, sued Nick Ramler to keep the contents of that thumb drive private. Wednesday afternoon, Local 12 received an email with dozens of files on it that appeared to be from that thumb drive. We showed them to Ramler's attorney, Steve Walnitzak. That part of it, you're certain, was on the thumb drive? It's a no-doubter. Okay. And this stuff, we did not get this from you, did we? Uh, no. You did not. Walnutsack is under court order to keep his copy of the thumb drive private. The files are mostly screen grabs of text messages that we are told by multiple sources Linda Talley Smith saved from her phone and stored on the office computer. There are some vulgar exchanges about a sexual assault investigation, pictures from the celebration party after David Dooley's murder conviction. There is also a January 20, 2015 text string between Smith, Sergeant Tim Adams, and Detective Bruce McVeigh about the George Gaddis case. Gaddis had been arrested for receiving stolen property and was to be arraigned the next day. A low bond had been recommended, but there were new developments in the case. At 8.48, Smith texted, I might have just gotten home from work and told my husband what we worked on today, and I might have just heard him on the phone with pretrial services, and I might have suggested a bond a tad higher than what they were recommending on Mr. Gaddis. So instead of $500 unsecured, it may be $10,000 cash. That message was sent at 848. Boone County court records show Gaddis's bond was set at $10,000 cash at 845. That's problematic is my, my initial reaction. It's very problematic. Jim Redwine is a longtime prosecutor, now retired, who tried about 150 cases. In my opinion, if that was, if that is indeed Linda Talley Smith talking about how she was able to have a conversation with the judge and get a bond increased at home, um, in, an, in a one-sided conversation, it's unethical conduct. We made repeated requests to talk to Linda Talley Smith and Judge Jeff Smith. This afternoon, Linda Talley Smith agreed to talk. She would not comment on the Gaddis case or anything on the thumb drive. We are all under an injunctive order that we're not allowed to talk about the contents of the flash drive. We're not allowed to talk about um, the materials that are on the flash drive. Linda Talley Smith admitted she made a serious personal mistake, but says she did not let that defeat her. I hate the fact that this has brought embarrassment to my county. I hate the fact that it's brought embarrassment to my office. But for those people that say that the public no longer trusts me, I would respond by saying I've still been in the office every day since September of 2016 doing my job, and it's not impacted any other case than the one that it was directed at. Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Linda Talley Smith ignored calls from the Boone County Republican Party to resign. She is running for re-election and faces attorney Lewis Kelly in Tuesday's Republican primary.